Hi, my name is Bill and I'm a printmaker and I'm going to show you now how to make uh, casts from textures and plants collected from the landscape. These are some that I've made earlier. Um, they're all made using uh, different sort of uh, things that I've collected in the countryside. Um, these two were made here in the studio and these were made uh, out in the field as it were uh, just pressing the plasticine into uh, tree bark. This one is made of PVA and it's got a bit of tissue paper on the back just to give it some strength and this one is using acrylic paint so you can see it's a little bit lighter and a bit brighter given the um, colour of the white acrylic paint. Before you start you'll need to collect together a few things. So what you're going to need is some PVA some or some acrylic, that's white acrylic, a knife, a brush, some plasticine, an old poly pocket or uh, another flat piece of uh, plastic. Um, alternatively if you have some you can use a piece of glass and some oil paints, a hairdryer, some cling film, also got an old bottle here with the label cut off and some white spirit and some water, um, preferably in a spritzer bottle like this. Just lay out uh, the plastic on the table like that and give it a little bit of water and that should stop the plasticine from sticking to the surface you're rolling it out on. Set the plasticine out in a kind of square, like so. And then you'll need to warm it just to soften the plasticine and allow you to roll it out flat. Use the hairdryer to do that. As the plasticine warms up, it should get a lot softer and you can just sort of push it together just to start the process of making it into a slab. Give it a little bit more water just to stop the bottle from sticking to it and just start to roll it out. It doesn't need to be very thick, no more than say half a centimetre thickness. But you should make sure that you've got a nice, flat, even surface underneath. So that you get a nice, uh, flat, even surface in the plasticine. So roll it until it's nice and smooth. Turning it. Eventually, you should get something like that. We should then do is just to take a knife and just start to tidy it up a bit and divide it then into two or three slabs like so. Now this is then ready to receive 
um, a plant impression into it. Um, when you go out to the landscape you can collect plants and other material but you can also take one of these with you so I'm going to just put one aside and that will be for working um, in the studio here and then the other one just going to wrap it in a bit of cling film just to keep it nice and tidy and just going to get a box then to put it in just to keep it safe when I take it out So I've been out now and uh, collected a few different sort of leaf matter here. These are all selected really for their sort of texture. Make sure that you can actually feel the texture rather than uh, just seeing it. Um, so that, it, that uh, the uh, plant specimens make a real impression into the plasticine. First of all, you'll need to just give them a little bit of water. And just place these the textured side up and you'll then need to put the plasticine over the top and before you start you'll need to warm the plasticine again just to make it softer it in and then a bit more water on the back take the bottle then and just start to really give it some pressure just to press that plant into the plasticine like so if we turn it over now you can see just take it off Just to see then how it's making the mould. Just do the same with this one then. Place it over the top. then on the back and a bit of pressure and roll over it with the bottle just very carefully then take the plant away should leave the impression of it in there. Now the next stage is to put them on top of uh, individual pieces of paper. This one I'm going to treat with PVA glue and that's just simply a matter of pouring the glue over it and working it in gently with a brush. And because it's so thick, it will take a day, if not two, to dry. So you'll need to exercise a little bit of patience 
with the PVA glue you know it's dried when it's no longer this colour that it's it's all transparent so I'm not going quite to the edges just to keep it tidy there's that and then on this one I'm just going to use some acrylic paint then just to do the same and get it as thick as you can. Now the nice thing about the plasticine is because it's slightly greasy it should release then the glue and the paint when it's all dried giving you the cast of the plant specimens. Just try and get it as as even as you can. Now this will need to be left then in a safe place to dry. And when it's completely dried, uh, just to make sure, we're going to add another coat to it. So these have both had two coats of acrylic and in this case PVA. They have been drying for two or three days. Now before we separate the cast from the mould, you will need to uh, just strengthen it with a piece of tissue paper on the back. So what I'm going to do is use a bit of the PVA just to paint the backs with the glue. And then just add the tissue paper on the back there. Now that should give it a little bit more strength when it comes to sort of pulling the two parts away from each other. So that's PVA down first and then a bit of PVA on the top as well. And that should seal it right down, make sure it's really stuck really well. paper on top of that one too. So this will need five or ten minutes now to dry before we take the cast away. Now that the glue has dried, we can begin to separate the cast from the mould. So very carefully, just turn it over and just start to separate the plasticine away. You may tear a little, just dig in and just try and get it off in one piece. Trying not to tear it too much. And there's one.
the other. As you can see, there is some plasticine left over. So, in order to remove that, just try and pick off as much as you can, first of all. Then, use white spirit. First of all, I'm going to put some gloves on because the white spirit is particularly bad for your hands. Use uh, a cloth then. Just a little bit of white spirit on the cloth and that should just start to take away any excess plasticine from the, from the cast. Once that's done, you should have a perfect cast of your uh, plant specimen. Now the next thing to do with this is just allow it to uh, just dry off a little bit um, and then we're going to tint it with oil paints. So um, mix your colours, try and match can I suppose the colours of the plant itself. Use a little bit of white spirit then just to water it down a little bit and let's create Brownie green, and just start to push the colour right into the into the surface there. You can vary the colours. Just adding a bit of brown or yellow just allow it to mix together like that go over the whole thing and then take a little bit more the cloth and then just start to wipe it away just kind of quite gently and you can see how the texture really comes out like that just 
you just polish the top surface so you should clean those a little bit more than the the bottom surfaces and really bring out some of the texture like that of course you can add keep adding colors here and there and wiping them back until you think it's the way you want it. Choose a clean bit of the cloth then and then just very lightly almost just brushing the surface. Really bringing it out. Because these are oil paints, they won't dry very quickly. <clears throat> so you can keep adding colour, taking it away until you find just the right balance of colour for your subject.